So hello everybody and welcome to the class. Today we are going to have the second part of the homophones. And we said that homophones means what? Who can remind me? Huh? What does I it mean? I know. I know. I know. I know. Yes. I know. Yes. Yeah. Who else? Me, Tala. Me, Tala. Me, Miss, please. Oh, Jenna, Jenna. Miss me, please. Yes. Miss, please. Yes, Jenna. What does it mean, homophones? Um, it's like um a word and another word. They sound like each other but have different meanings. Good job. This is the homophones. It's very easy. So two words or more than two words have the same sound but have different meaning and different spelling. Can you give me an example, Jenna? <clears throat> um, okay, like there, there. and they are. Okay, there and there also. So there, the first one is what a possessive pronoun and the other one is a contraction, which is they are. But when I we know. pronounce it, we pronounce them in the same way, there and there. And also there's another there, which means what? When I want to say something and to give you the direction for something, I will say for you, put it out there. So there, it means a direction. So three words, different meaning and different spelling, but the same sound. Who can give me another example? Send. Send me, please. Send. Send. Excellent. So we have yes. sent. The money and the smell. The money also. And the smell. And the, the smell. One. And then like, I sent you to get it. Excellent. Also, I sent you something. It means that you received it from me. Excellent. Mr. Chile and Chile. Me, Tala. No, Maria. Red and red. Red and red. red. Excellent job. Red it in the color. Excellent. Amazing, my girl. Tala. Hi, Tala. What else? Uh, chili and chili. The hot chili, which is the vegetable, and the chili, which like it's cold. Excellent. So we have a chili and a chili. Chili, the vegetable. I have another one. Being a cold. What? I have another one. No, oh, tell me. Who's talking? Cool. Feroz. Feroz. How Feroz? Cool and cool. Cool. <laughs> and cool. This is not a homophone. This is what? we call it homonym because it's the same. Like it has because the same it's spelling. The same spelling and the same uh, the same sound. So same spelling and same sound. It's not a homophone. It's another word we call it homonym. Yes, I know one. Okay. Like, although they have different meaning, but they have the same sound and the same spelling. So it's not uh, a homophone. We call it homonym. So okay. They... Like what? Also like bat and bat. Bat and bat, this is homonym, Miss not eight and eight. homophone. Okay, homophone, it means the same sound, but different spelling, like this one. Different spelling and different meaning. Okay, so this one is not considered, and this one is not considered, so Miss forget about eight it. Eight and eight. Eight and eight. Eight and eight, excellent. This is homophone. So eight, which is the verb, I ate an apple. And then uh, the number. The past. And also I have eight. Number. Which is the number eight. And also C and C. C and C. C. Okay, another one I will give you also, my girls, is what is also when we say write the verb of and writing right. and write, go to the right, not to the left. And oh, also write, which means to do something very regularly as a write. And also um, there's another write, which is this one. So all of them, they have the same sound. But when you write it, each one gives you different spelling and different meaning. Each one. Miss, I know Imagine. one. So that's why the homophones, it's not only two words. Sometimes it could be three, four, five, six. It depends on how many words that you have is similar to the same sound that you write. Hiya, Maria. Um, night and night. Night and we have also night. And we have and also night. night. And All of these words give you the same sound. Also, be and be. Be the verb, which and the is an R and am, and, and be the is the insect. <clears throat> what? And the letter. And the, the letter, letter also. Okay, so these are all what? These are all homophones. So now you understand the homophones. Let's go ahead and open the page, open our books in the notebook. And the page 278. 200, yes, excellent, Maria. Thank you. So it's the page 200, 
78 in the notebook. Okay, did you open it? Let's yes. go together and <clears throat> have this exercise together. Okay, in this page, as you can see, Please. almost once, 278. Let me write it again for you. Okay, my girls. <clears throat> so, proof, read, and add circle six spelling errors. Write the words correctly. Find one capitalization error. Write the sentence correctly. So, uh, on a chilly day, shout aloud for our delicious chili. It will warm you. It will warm you through uh, and through. Ask about our ninety-nine cent special. If the weather is bad, call us. We deliver for free. Of course, there is no finer tasting treat. So right now we have this person, he wrote this a little uh, advertisement right here. And he has, in his writing, he has six spelling mistakes and also one capitalization mistake. Who can give me the first spelling mistake? Please, in Maria. Feroz, Feroz, Feroz. Me, Maria, please. Anybody else other than Feroz and Maria, come on. Miss, miss me, please, 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 please. Ah, Tina, Tina. Miss me, please, please. Yes. Ah, Tina. Yes. Huh, any spelling mistake you found in this passage? Weather. Weather. Excellent. Miss I know, I know. Um, Miss I know. Please, please, oh. please, please. Can you give me the correct spelling of it? Hi, Atina. W H uh -huh. H U um. W E A T H E R weather. Okay. If the weather is bad, yes. I'm talking about the weather of outside. Like, is it sunny or cloudy? So this is what I mean by weather, not the one that means a choice. Taib, number two, yeah, me, me, me. Mm. Yay. Okay. Um. Ninety-nine. Ninety-nine. Ninety-nine is correct. Uh, what about it? He's saying 99 cent. Is this cent? It means the money? What do you think? No, no. The cent is... Um, uh, to be... Give me the spelling. I uh, know, yeah. C-E-N-T. Excellent. C-E-N-T. And it will give you the word cent. Excellent, my dear. This is the word cent. Okay, now remember, the spelling mistakes that he make is spelling mistakes of homophones. Yani, he put a word that's supposed to be the other homophone, not this one. Okay, so I had two right now. What is the third one, Mariana? Did you find another one for me? Oh, huh. another spelling mistake. On a chilly day, shout aloud for our delicious chili. Is there any mistake here? Mariana, Haifa. Judy, Miss I know. 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 Are you sleepy Ms. these days? I know. Miss I know. Judy, Judy. Miss I know. Give me one. Give me one. I'm searching. Huh? Miss I know. Miss, please. Is it through? Through? Through. Excellent. So it will warm you through and through. So which one I should choose? Uh, I should. Um, Fix. Yes, I know. This is Give me the spelling for this. Through and um, through. T H R O. Yes, I know. 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 Yes, C H I L I. Excellent job. Okay, then we have Judy Rida. Hi, Judy. Hi, Judy. Give me any words. You know. Let's go for Tala. 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 Uh, of course. Of course, here. No. 
مش مش أي مش أي ماريا ماريا allowed excellent so we have this word allowed he's supposed to give the other allowed give me the other uh, the other spelling of allowed a l o u d allowed excellent job number six Haya. Who's Jenna? Jenna, Jenna. Miss, I know it. I see it. Yeah, yeah Jenna. If the weather is bad, call us. We deliver for free. Of course, there uh, is no finer tasting treat. Hmm. Is it there? There. Excellent. So I will choose this one and I'll put which there? E H E R E. Excellent. They. There. Wait, where is the uh, capitalization I error? Feroz, I Feroz, please, Feroz. please, Feroz. Miss. Uh, hi, Feroz. Oh, me? Yes. Uh, uh, it's if the weather is bad. Uh -huh. uh, Call us. And then yeah. we deliver for free. We deliver. We, yeah, the D, D, how is it? Yeah, that's excellent job, my Fairuz. You found it. Excellent. So we deliver for free. Excellent. Okay, right now we're going to number eight. Circle the correct spelling of the list word. Write the word. I will start with Tina. Hi, Tina. Did you finish this, my girls? Should I go down? Yes. Yeah, yeah. All of you? Yes, miss. Okay, yes. Tina, number eight for you, Yatina. We are going here to have a sentence, and in the sentence, I will put a word of this. Which word is the correct spelling? Let's go down. So we have number eight. Uh, uh, burlap is a fabric. Burlap is, a is coarse fabric. But which course is the correct one? Of course, that tells you it's a material. Hmm. This or this or this? The last one. The last one. Excellent, my girl. So it is the last one because it's related to material. So we have I know. number nine, Mariana. Number nine. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Yalla. Yes, I know. Haifa, Haifa. Mariana, I can't hear you. If you are talking, I can't hear you, sweetie. Maybe your mic. Okay, Haifa. What? Haifa, number uh, nine for you. I think going on a class trip tomorrow. I think they are going to the class tomorrow, uh, to, to the class trip tomorrow. Which there is the correct one? There. The first, the second, or um, the last? Which? Um. Was the last one? The last one. one. The last one. Uh, the last one. Yes, it has apostrophe, but this is not a contraction because you see here, they are, and he put a r. This is wrong, because we don't try write r like this. We write it's it like the, this. It's the middle one. The middle one. It means it's a, a possessive no, pronoun. We will not use it right now. No, it will be the first one. How is it? Why? Because it's a contraction of two words. They are, and we need a subject. We don't have a subject, so this is where we put oh. it. So I think they are going on a class trip. Okay. So I will I choose the first one. They. Miss, can I do number? Okay. Number ten, yeah, Haifa. Again, stay with me, Haifa. Sky blue is a color. Sky blue is a color, pale color. Which pale is the correct one? The first one. What does it mean, the first one? Oh. Hmm. What does it mean, the first pale? Oh, you remember when I said the pale, it means a bucket? So the first one, it means a bucket. Okay, pale right here, it means the light color. And the last one is uh, uh, I a think wrong, the wrong last, spelling. So the last one. No, it will be in the middle, pale. Taib, stay with me, Haifa, number 11. 
Pirul. Your perfume has a lovely scent. Scent mm. or scent or scent. Habibti, no. Scent here, it means that it's money. C-E-N-T. And scent here, it means a verb. And scent here, it means a smell of the perfume. Stay with me, Haifa, and focus. Some people say. Okay. Number 11, scent. Number 12, uh, Feiruz. Yes. Uh, I am not sure I can go. I'm hmm. not sure whether... Whether or whether... Uh, whether whether. It's, hmm. this, it's, the, um, it's the second one. Yes, why, Tayyip, it's the second because, one? Uh, because it's this thing, it's like, I don't know if I should go. It's like Yes, excellent job, because I have the choice right now, and I'm asking myself, should I go or not go? Yeah. So since I am choosing, I will choose whether, which means a choice. Kind of choice. Okay, number 13, yeah, Judy, the sailor. The sailor down the ship's hatch. Hmm. Something the is a T. So tide, tide, tide. The um, sailor down the ship's hatch. Huh. Tide. The first tide. one? The first one? No. He's tiding something. Huh. Here I say the sailor tied the down. So which tide should be? The last one. The last one, because he's making a verb. He is making tying for something, for a rope or for a hatch. So that's why I will use the last one, which is tied. Like the candy cost one ha amal. Cent or cent or cent? Yes, I know. Cent, the one in the middle. The one in the middle, because it's a money. Excellent. The score was even, and the game was. I know. Huh? I know. I know. Yes, Maria. Maria. Yes, Maria. I tied the last one. Tied the last one, which means that it's what. It's a tie between them, Yani. It's a draw. All of them has the same uh, result. Okay, if you finish, go now and open your books in the page. Miss, but how? What? But how is number thirteen tied? It's the same as number fifteen. Because it yeah. has the same meaning. The sailor tied oh. down the ship's hatch, which means what? Tie here. It means to tie it down, Yani Rabatha, which means that he put it together. He bonded it together. But here, tie, it comes from the word tie. Tie also has another meaning, which means a draw or even or ta'adul. So although they have the same spelling here, but they have what they have different meaning. So tie, tie, tie. So let's go for the page 306. 306. Thank you so much, Yamari. So go. Well for 306. Let's have the homework together so you don't have to do it alone. Yay! So we have the page 306 in the notebook. <laughs> this is a game we are going to play, which is the cross game. In the cross game, we have a shape like this, and we have to fill it with the information that we found in here. So let's go right now with the across, which is from left to right. The first one, we have the word gay, gay permission. So which word that tells you the same gave permission? Huh? Yes, I know, please. Yes, Maria. It's it's Maria. Allowed. 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 L -L -A -L -L -O -W -E -D. L L O O W E E and D. Okay, excellent. This is for number two. Number uh let's go for number six. Not here. Mimi. Huh, yes, I know, I know. It's not here. It's it's uh... if it's not here, it will be the other side so it's far away from me i will say it's there, there 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 so it will be t h e r e r e r and e right. and then number seven number seven we have the word uh fastened Fast can i say it 
Tide. T I E D. Excellent, my dear. So I will go for tide. I fastened the belt, which means that I tied it. E. It's easier for me. Right. And then we have a uh, number, which one? Uh, pitch. Number eight. Number eight. I know. Pitch. No? Through. If you pitch uh, a ball, it will be through. So T, give me the spelling. T H R E W. R E. And lastly is W. Through. Me, Amal. Then we have, hi, Amal. The last one. Horse. Number nine, place to play golf. Horse. Horse. Very good. So C O. Oh, give me the spelling. Hello? C-O-U-R-S-E. Uh-huh. R. S. And E. Okay. Now let's go for the vertical and down. Number one, say it so it could be here. Say it so it could be here. I need a very what voice. Allowed. Allowed. Yeah. Very good. So number one, it's gonna be allowed. A. And what? L. O. O. A L O W U D. U and D. D is right here. Excellent. Number three. F. I know. Miss hmm. I know. Miss I know. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's red. What? Weather. Ay, excellent. So we have weather. So give me the spelling. Uh, w. H. Uh, w. E. W. E. E. T. Uh, w. H. E. E. T. E. T. Mm -hmm. H. E. R. Weather yeah. and E. R. Like if I should. Should I? Excellent. Number uh, number four finished. Oh, no. Four right here. Huh? Who's talking, Jana? I know. Yes. Jana, yalla, Jana. Um. Huh? Is it? Jana. I... Finished. Finished. Oh. Um. Hmm. Um. Done. Through, so it will be through. Now give me the other one, yeah, Jana. Okay. Smell. Um, no, it's scent. Scent. Excellent. Give me the spelling. S. Number five. Uh, Where's number five? Five. Five. Where's five? Ah, oh. scent. So, um, yes. S. E. C. C. E. S. E. N. T. N and T. Excellent, my dear. And then number seven. Belonging to them. I know. Huh, Tala? Yeah. Or Amal? Maria. No, Maria. that's Maria. Okay. <laughs> there. And the last one is R. Excellent. This is how you do it. If you don't, go down. Scroll down. Done. Done, my dear. You're always with me. Done. Thank you so much. Done. Done. Okay, done. Is it fun? Let's go down. <laughs> and we have write the list word that belongs to each group. Number 10. I know. Rain, snow, tornado. Huh. So rain, snow, tornado. Th these Weather? are what? These are what? Weather. Weather. Excellent. So we have number 10 is weather. And number 11, cold, icy, frosty, something very, very cold. What we call it, my Chili. dear? Chili. 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 Chili, excellent, my dear. So it's, it's chili. And then we have rough and thick. What I call it? Hmm. A rough and thick material. What I call it? Pale. Coarse, coarse, coarse. Number 13, taco, spaghetti, soup. Huh. What I put in them to make them taste nice? 
Chili? Chili. chili. So it's a chili. Very good. And then we have bucket, container, or jug. Pail. 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 So P A I L. Pail. Then we have nickel, dime, quarter. Cent. 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 Very good. C E N T. Your ear contract there. 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 T H uh, E Y Y E Y. Yeah. And post your feet. R E. R E. White, colorless, sickly. Pale. Pale. So P A L E. And then we have ocean, waves, high. Tide. Tide. We have T I D E. And then we have letter mailed, transmitted. Sent. Sent. So S E N T. Nice? Yes, finish. Okay, my dears. Have a nice day. We finished the, first, uh, the first class Bye. now. 15 minutes break and come back to have the grammar with me. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.